being made a curse for us, for it is written, curses everyone that hangs on the tree, so that the blessing of what? Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. It didn't say so that the blessing of the law. Now, technically speaking, we found out that the exact opposite of the curse of the law would be what? The, cur the blessing of the law. Amen? That would be the exact opposite. Pero instead of the blessing of the law, hindi po the blessing of the law, ang binanggit kundi so that you may receive the blessing of Abraham. Meron pong pagkakaiba yung blessing of the law at yung blessing of Abraham. Bagamat ang resulta ay parati, parehong blessing, pero meron pong pagkakaiba. Yung blessing of the law under the law of Moses, para sila makatagat ng blessing, they have to obey first the law. Amen? At tapos sila mag-obey, then God can bless them. So in other words, the blessing of the Lord is based on their obedience. Ang problema, they, they didn't obey all the time. Sometimes obe obedience, sometimes disobedience. Sometimes they would obey, sometimes they would disobey. Kaya resulta po, sometimes blessing, sometimes curse. Amen? Sometimes victory, you know, and then defeat. So pag ano, parang yoyo po, parang yoyo, yung pong buhay ng basang Israel. Sometimes up, sometimes down. Sometimes up, sometimes down. Amen? Okay? But not Abraham. Pero hindi po si Abraham. Iba po yung blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Abraham, you know, is different from the blessing of the law. Are you still here? The blessing of Abraham is based on a covenant of grace. When God entered into a covenant relationship with Abraham, it was a covenant of grace. Amen? Now, in other words, the moment Abraham believed, you know, God is obliged to fulfill what he has promised in the covenant. Now, there was no law. Now, now, in other words, how, how did Abraham get blessed? Paano po siya uh, uh, napagpala? By obeying the law, by the works of the law? Of course not. Sa kadalian po, napakalaman po natin, na nung panahon po ni Abraham, wala pa po yung law. Wala pa yung law of Moses. The law of Moses came 430 years after Abraham, right? So how did Abraham get blessed? Paano siya napagpala? By just believing. By just believing. The Bible tells in Hebrews chapter 11, you know, by faith, Abraham you know, when he was called by God, you know, by faith, Abraham obeyed. So, by faith. So, Abraham just believed. Now, uh, along the way, he may have committed mistakes. Amen? Pero hindi po nahulugan na hindi na, na matatanggap ang kanyang panampatay. God, God treated him in grace. Remember that? God told Abraham, you know, in Genesis chapter 12, Get thee out of your country and from your kingdom, from your father's house, you know, unto a land that I will show you. And uh, I will make your name great. You, 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 I will bless you. And you shall be a blessing. And in, and in you all the families or the nation of the earth will be blessed. Now the Bible tells us, Hebrews chapter 11, the New Testament interpreted for us what Abraham did. When Abraham obeyed, you know, what God told him. Get you out of your country. Get out of your country. And from your family, from your relatives. And from your kindred. And, 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 and to a land that I will show you. And uh, I will bless you. I will make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. And the Bible tells us, when Abraham obeyed God, he did it by faith. Hebrews chapter 11. Tingnan po natin Hebrews chapter 11 in verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place, when he was called. When he was called. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place where he should, after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. In other words, the moment he stepped out of Ur of Chaldees, he did it by faith. He believed God's promise. Amen? By faith. Now, although he committed some mistakes along the way, remember? Amen? He lied about his wife Sarah. Amen? Under the law of Moses, lying is against the law. One of the commandments is, Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not defraud your neighbor. Amen? Dinaya po niya yung, 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 yung uh, payro sa Egypt. Nagsinungaling siya. Nandaya siya. So in other words, under the law of Moses, he already violated the law of Moses. And yet the Bible tells us, you know, when he, went, when he got out of Egypt, so Genesis chapter 13, you know, no siya lumabas sa Egypt, he became very rich. Amen? He became a very rich man. He was rich, very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Amen? Now, notice it. Notice that. Now, 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 don't get me wrong. God does not condone lying. God does not condone dishonesty. Amen? But his covenant with Abraham was based on grace. It is a covenant of grace. 
Kapag ganun na para sa Abraham, that's it. God is obliged to fulfill His promise. He, Abraham may have committed, you know, along the way, some mistakes along the way. Amen? Pero hindi na hulugan na, you know, uh, he would disqualify himself through his mistakes from receiving, you know, the blessing of God. Ako nyo ba? Now again, the New Testament, we are not saying that God is condoning, uh, 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 you know, sin. No. We are not saying that. We are just simply telling us that, you know, God treated them in grace. Amen? Now even, even Israel, maging yung Israel po, when God delivered them out of Egypt, you know, that was purely an act of God's grace. That was purely an act of God's grace. Now, turn with me in Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Exodus chapter 12. In verse uh, 13, this was the Passover night. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are and when I see the blood. Notice what God said. When I see the blood. He told the uh, Israelites in Egypt, when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Now notice he didn't say, when I see your good works. When I see your good works. No, no. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. God doesn't change. Amen? Today in, in, in our lives, God blesses us not because He sees our good works. God blesses us because He sees the blood of Jesus Christ upon our lives. He blesses us based on who we are in Christ Jesus. He blesses us not based on our works. He blesses us based on the works of Jesus Christ. Come on! But many times, you know, every time we commit some, some kind of mistake, the devil will be there. Has some talent job, he will condemn us. Ah. Oh. Hindi ka na makakatanggap mula sa Diyos mula ngayon. Kita mo, ginawa mo kahapon. Oh, kahit anong gawin mong prayer, hindi nasasagutin ni Lord yan. Dahil sa pagkakamali mong nagawa. Dahil sa nagawa mo. Okay, God will never, never answer your prayer again. Nagkamali ka na naman. So that's the devil. That's not God. Are you still here? Amen. Now we may have committed, we may, we may commit some mistakes. Okay? We are still in the growing process. But whenever you commit mistake, don't let the devil condemn you because of your mistake. Amen? Whenever you commit mistake, remember that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. All you need to do is to confess your sin you know, and the Bible says God will cleanse you from all your unrighteousness. Okay? Now, now, let's go on. So, in other words, it is purely by the grace of God. He said, when I see the blood, then God delivered them out of Egypt. Now, tingnan po natin how God delivered them out of Egypt. Now, in the book of Psalm 105. Psalm 105. 